Now I invite His Excellency Mr. Hiroshi Yoshida, Vice Minister for International Affairs, Japan. Um, His Excellency Minister Baisnal, His Excellency Minister Plasada, and um, um, by uh, President from NASCOM and um, Vice President from uh, OpenAI and uh, distinguished delegates. Uh, first of all, I would like to congratulate Minister Baishna, Minister Prasada, and their team from METI, as well as the team from NASCOM, for the successful preparation of India AI together with the GPA Mid Year Summit. Hosting India AI is a testament of India's strong commitment to promote the responsible development, deployment, and use of AI. This is a great opportunity to bring together co companies, startups, researchers, and users to discuss urgent issues for promoting safe, secure, and trustworthy AI. I'm convinced that uh, India AI we create a great synergy with GPA and praise India for this excellent leadership. Ladies and gentlemen, Japan has been attaching great importance to promoting safe, secure, and trustworthy AI. In order to harness the full benefits of AI, we need to mitigate risks to be caused by AI. Risks include disinformation and misinformation, fake news, protection of IP art, transparency, and language bias in learning data. Since last year, Japan initiated the Hiroshima AI process and last year, comprehensive policy framework was announced, which includes international guiding principles and international code of conduct for AI developers. In particular, the Code of Conduct refers to concrete measures to address issues related to the safety and security of advanced AI systems, such as watermarking, red teaming, and also in the identified education and skilling as one of the major challenges that our society must face. We also have to stress that in developing technological solutions and increasing human capacity in the AI ecosystem, working closely with startups will be very important. In addressing these challenges, GPA also takes an important role because it is an initiative that brings together all stakeholders, including AI experts from academia and industry, as well as government officials. And that is why Japan attaches so much importance to GPA. Here I would like to announce that Jap Japanese government just announced the official launch of GPA Tokyo Center, led by Professor Harayama, who is also <laughs> presented here and uh, has uh, excellent uh, expertise in AI issues. In particular, the strengths and the core value of GPA lies in its inclusiveness. In this regard, Japan strongly supports India's emphasis on participation of the Global South during its GPA chairmanship. That also resonates with the spirit of the Hiroshima Air process. That must extend beyond the G7. Ladies and gentlemen, Japan is promoting the Hiroshima Friends Group, announced by Japan's Prime Minister Kishida on the occasion of the OECD Ministerial Council last May. To date, 53 countries have joined this friend group. We are delighted that India is one of the first countries to announce its participation. We believe India and Japan, together with all other members, work closely together to achieve safe, secure, and trustworthy AI around the world. 
Indian Japan, each country has its unique histories and traditions, but share the same values and interests, democracy and human-centered AI. By working together, Japan and India can contribute further to the responsible development, deployment, and use of AI in the world. Thank you very much.